Have you ever heard about the elephant story? And if not, today I'm going to talk to you about that and how it applies to your public speaking career. What's up, guys? This is Philip Sessions, your public speaking and communication coach, here to teach you all things about public speaking and communication. But today I want to talk to you about the elephant story. And if you've heard this before, maybe you have not, let me go ahead and explain what it is to you. So elephants are captured at a very young age in certain countries. And what happens is once they're captured from the wild, they're brought to some kind of civilization where there's humans around them. And typically what will happen is there's a, a larger stake that's put in the ground and some heavy chains that are hooked to this chain and then shackled on one or multiple legs, most likely just one leg of a baby elephant. And at a young age, the baby elephant cannot break out of that chain. It tries and tries and tries, but eventually it is beaten into submission and realizes that it cannot break that chain. And as we know, elephants remember everything, right? That's what they say. Elephants remember everything. They're the greatest memories of all animals out there. And so what happens is after days, months, weeks, whatever, years, so so much time. And I know I just said some of those out of order. But anyways, when there's so much time that has elapsed and this baby elephant has tried and tried and tried and it couldn't break the chain, the shackles to be able to get free from its captor, from this stake that is it is tied to with this chain. When it becomes an adult, when it becomes older and you put that chain on it, it can easily break that chain. But because that elephant remembers, I remember when I was a baby and I struggled. Maybe it hurt them. We don't know how much those animals or what happened to that animal when it was shackled. But once it became an adult, it remembers I couldn't break those shackles when I was a baby. I couldn't get out of that. And so I can't get out of it today. And we as humans, we look from the outside and say, what? Are you serious? No way. That elephant is strong enough. It can break those chains and get out today. But because in its mind, it's told itself, I can't do it. I can't get out. I tried when I was a baby. And it just, it didn't work out. I got hurt. I was stuck here. That elephant will never break those chains. And remember, it's all in its mind. It is focused in here saying, when I was a baby, I couldn't break these chains. And so today, as a strong adult elephant, I can't break the chains either. And yet, in all reality, it can. And that's the same thing when it comes to you in public speaking. Whether you had a bad experience with it one time, or maybe you've never had an experience with it, which I bet a lot of you listening to this right now have never even had a bad experience. You just feel like you wouldn't be a good public speaker. You feel like you don't have the capability and the story that is worth sharing. Nobody's going to listen to me. I'm not that great of a speaker. I sound weird. Who cares about me? I haven't done that much. These are probably questions and statements that you probably said to yourself when it came to you public speaking. And guess what? You're being like that adult elephant that is allowing this chain to hold it down, even though it can easily break it. And that's what your mind is doing right now. Because you're saying all these things about yourself that I can't do this because of that. I can't be a great speaker because of this other reason. You're right. Because you've told yourself in your mind that you can't. And so how do you break this? Simply by telling yourself that you can, that you will start to be a public speaker. The only reason why you are not into public speaking and you are not starting to do it. And I'm not saying you're going to be a Tony Robbins. You're going to be the best public speaker out there just because you decide to do it. But the reason why you're not good at it, the reason why you fear it, is this head, this your head up here. It's your 
limited mindset telling you that you cannot do it. You haven't even proven whether you could or not. And anybody that does anything is not good on the first try. Look at Elon Musk. Sometimes the richest man in the world, sometimes the second richest man in the world. He's on a mission to go to Mars. And guess what? How many of his spaceships have made it to Mars yet? Zero. Zero have made it to Mars. Heck, there's a lot of them, and I don't know how many, but a lot of them have you made it out of Earth's orbit. They have went up, exploded. All sorts of things have happened with the rockets, and they failed. And yet he continues to keep going. Why? Because his mind is made up that he is going to get to Mars, that he is going to do that thing that he has set out to do. And so if you really want to be a public speaker, if you really want to make that happen, put it in your mind. Get rid of that old mindset that you can't do this, that you're not good enough, whatever your reason is for not doing it. And start to put in your mind, feed your mind that you can do it, that you are going to be a speaker, that you are going to help people with a certain thing. It can't just stop at, you know what, I'm going to be a speaker. I'm going to get out there and speak. Because that's not enough. Just like doing anything in life, you have to have a why. You have to have a reason behind you speaking. So when you set your mind to speaking, set your mind to what it is that you're going to speak about. What is that thing that you're going to do to change somebody's life? And go with that. When you do that, when you put your mind to it, you will start to become the speaker that you should be, that you can be, that you will become, and that somebody needs. But it first starts with you Deciding in your mind that you're going to be that speaker. So just like the elephant, don't allow your mind to chain you to the stake to never be the speaker that somebody needs you to be. There's somebody out there that needs your message. It needs to hear your story. So stop allowing yourself to hold you back and go out there and fire up the mic.